So I've got a scrap piece of pine, a backwards sign, and some Mod Podge. What's it for? Hey guys, Wally here. Today, I've got another great video in my two minute drill series. Uh, if you're not familiar with those, what I try to do is show you how to do a very simple DIY project in two minutes or less. Uh, today is no exception to that because this is a pretty cool one. Uh, essentially, we're gonna take this, I think it's backwards, maybe inverse uh, piece of paper. It's got my logo on it. Uh, a little bit of Mod Podge, a piece of scrap pine, and we're going to turn it into a pretty cool uh, DIY wooden sign. If you're ready, let's get rocking and rolling and show you how I built this thing in two minutes or less. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, print off the picture that you want to have printed on your wooden sign. Um, the important thing here is to do it on a laser printer. I've found that inkjet printers don't work quite as well and the laser printer uh, works really well. So use a laser printer if you can and uh, you know go down to your local copy shop. They've all got laser printers there uh, if you don't have one at home. Um, so print, we're gonna print that off first and then what I want you to do is actually trim it to its basically its final size. And then we're also gonna do the exact same thing to the piece of pine or whatever wood you're going to be putting it on, uh, trim it to its final size as well. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So at this point, what you want to do is just go ahead and trim your piece of paper down on all four sides. And the whole idea here is just to eliminate as much white space as you can around the picture. So now that you've got your piece of paper cut down to its basically final size, you can go ahead and trim your wood as well and really you want to get that as close as you can to the same size as your paper and really this is just a couple of cuts on your miter saw or your table saw or using your circular saw okay so now you've got your picture and your piece of wood cut to its final size now what we're going to do is actually take some uh, Mod Podge uh, you can buy this at you know any craft store I think I might have got this at Walmart but uh, Mod Podge is essentially a PVA glue. You, you guys have probably heard of uh, PVA glue. Uh, Mod Podge is used in crafts and, and that sort of thing. And it, it actually works really well for this application. Uh, so take your Mod Podge and just a cheap uh, either bristle brush or foam brush. I like these chip brushes just because they're 39 cents each and uh, you, can, you don't mind tossing that away afterwards. And we're actually just going to brush uh, the Mod Podge onto our picture and onto the piece of wood. So I'll show you that now. This step is fairly straightforward. All you're going to do is just brush some Mod Podge onto the front of the picture as well as onto your piece of wood. Now it's at this point where I realize that I have made a mistake. As you can see, I'm putting the Mod Podge onto the back of my picture. What I actually need to do is have it on the front of my picture. So uh, you'll see how I rectify this in a minute. You can see I'm putting on a fairly liberal coat of the Mod Podge onto the piece of wood and it's pretty important to get a full coverage on here because uh, you want the uh, piece of paper to be stuck down on uh, every square inch of that piece of wood. So you can see now that I have stuck the uh, picture upside down on the piece of wood and now I'm just rubbing a block along the back side of it just to help with the adhesion and just do that a few times until you feel like you've got a good coverage between the piece of paper and the piece of wood. Okay, so here's the thing. You'll notice that it's a different sign now that I'm spraying the water on. And that's because that other one that I showed you with my logo on it, I put the Mod Podge on the wrong side to begin with. And so the water won't spray on it now. So basically I'm going to have to throw that sign out and do another one. But on this uh, this sign here you'll see uh, as I spray the water on it it will um, uh, soak right in live and learn mistakes happen okay so this is where all the fun begins so what I did is I sprayed it down with a bottle of water I've let this sit for about two to three minutes and now what I'm doing is just starting to gently rub 
the top fibers of that piece of paper so that they get all soaked through and you're going to want to take about six passes to uh, get all of the fibers off so don't be in a hurry to get it done just take a little bit at a time off and then spray it with some more water and then take another little bit of of the fibers off and then spray it with some more water etc etc so again it's going to take you six or seven times to get down to the point where you're satisfied with it so just take your time and remember to wait a couple minutes uh, after you spray the water on uh, to let it soak in uh, and then you can uh, rub off a little bit more it's great Okay, so I've zoomed in on the sign so that you can see uh, what it looks like when I'm rubbing the fibers of the paper off. And you can tell I'm not rubbing very hard and getting some decent fibers off. Uh, one word of caution here, don't rub too hard or you risk uh, rubbing the colors or your pictures right off of there. So be very careful at this point and uh, just go slowly. Uh, spray and then rub and then spray and then rub and uh, make sure that it it uh, comes out the way you want it to okay guys so uh, once you've wiped this off six or seven times just so remember just get it a little bit wet wipe off a little bit more and you'll get to a point where it feels completely smooth and that's where I am now and so now it's actually time to put a finish on top of it and you can really do anything you want there you can put uh, you know a clear coat a lacquer uh, poly anything you want I'm actually going to put another layer of Mod Podge over top of it uh, it's uh, it, it's a pretty easy application obviously I'm just going to brush it on and it dries clear and looks great when it's all dry so I'll just show you how to do that real quick and then we're done All right. Well, thank you for following along on that video. That was uh, that was a lot of fun to do. Uh, I ended up uh, doing my logo design as well. So um, I'm very pleased with how they came out. I I put two coats of Mod Podge on just just for your reference. And uh, there's a nice. Uh, it's it, it's a not too glossy. Uh, but it's, I can tell that it's well protected. Uh, I think if I was going to do it again, I probably would put a different finish on. Uh, just, I don't know, just for preference. But uh, I, I'm very pleased with how these came out. No issues at all. So, uh, thanks again for following along, you guys. If you like what I'm doing here, if you're kind of digging these silly little two-minute drills and all the other ones that I do, I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a quick follow. Uh, subscribe to the channel i guess that's what it's called and uh maybe follow me along on instagram twitter facebook etc um or even sign up for my newsletter on my website diywithwally.com because that's where i go into more in-depth uh versions of of what we're doing here so thanks again have a great day talk to you soon